Hi, and welcome to Homo Ludens, a channel on history and board games. In today's video, I'm going to try to do something a bit different uh, that I tried to do a while ago, but it was really experimental. I'm going to try to do a playthrough. I was thinking about doing a review for Spoiled Victory by uh, White Dog Games, that is a game on the Battle of Dunkirk in 1940 during the German offensive in France. And I thought, uh, why not try test to do a playthrough? It's actually something that works well for a playthrough because it's a soul game and there is a pretty simple sequence of play. It's quite an easy game to follow. I think I'm gonna try to do this. I probably won't be able to go through the full game because I don't think I can record for that long to explain it simply. So I think I'm gonna go through a couple of days, probably up until May 29th, I think would be a good objective. And I'm gonna explain you uh, what are my decisions through, uh, through the process of the game. So I have two cameras, one that is up here, one that is here that I will probably move along the, the game to actually show you some specific elements of the game. But overall you have this uh, top camera that will follow the action uh, all along the process. I have my player aid here, the map. Uh, regarding the setup, what I did is I did a pretty uh, basic setup. I followed the instruction in the, in the rules. Uh, and then you have some open setup for some of the units and what I decided to do, the only strategic decision that I made is actually to have a few units uh, at La Panne, uh, which is a city where you have the British HQ and why I did that is that I know that I want to keep control the, the Belgian front here because if the Belgian actually surrender at some point, I'm gonna have some problems and I wanna be able to hold those different fronts. So I wanna have a pile of uh, British units that are ready to, uh, to occupy some defensive positions here. So that's basically it. Some event description here, but uh, I won't go too much into the detail of the rules. Uh, the idea is that you'll probably pick up uh, the rules along the way when you'll see me play. I will explain uh, some of the elements and I will explain the decisions that I make along the way. I've played this game, uh, I think, uh, around half a dozen times now. Uh, so I I probably don't pick up the perfect strategies for it. So feel free to comment uh, in the comment section about maybe uh, optimal moves that I haven't made. I'm already sorry uh, if I mess up uh, any rules. It's a pretty straightforward game, but sometimes there are some exceptions in the dice roll modifiers and you have specific events that I might miss, so I'm really sorry, but the overall flow of the game is pretty straightforward, so that should be fine. And let's go uh, with the first turn. So I have my deck here that I'm gonna place that should be seeable, and we are the 27th of May. Also, one other caveat, uh, I will have a tendency to, when I name the location, to name them with a French accent because obviously I'm French, so I will have a hard time saying Dunkirk. I will say more often Dunkirk if that's a problem. <laughs> well, that's, that's life. And we start, so it's a guard driven game, a uh, solo game that is, that looks a lot like State of Siege, but way more tactical than a State of Siege game, which are usually very strategic games. And everything works with cards, uh, and cards are gonna be used in a lot of different ways. Uh, so you see the sequence of play, you start with the event, then you resolve the Luftwaffe, Luftwaffe attacks, then you have escape moves uh, and VP scoring, then German moves and attacks, player action, uh, evacuation move, etc., etc., And all of those are actually gonna be um, uh, driven by cards. So you draw a card and the card has an event, uh, values for the Luftwaffe attack, uh, German moves, player action, evacuation. So it follows the sequence of play. Uh, and when you draw a card for an event, then it's discarded, but then you draw other cards for the different steps of the sequence of play, and those uh, keep in the discard and can be reshuffled back. So I'm gonna shuffle this, because no, no too much. And let's go, May 27th, day. And we go with first event, Lost Battalions Arrive. So a number of rear guard units have gallantly fought their way through German lines, immediately place two strength evacuating units if available in the East Jetty space or any beach space. And that's actually a shitty, 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 shitty event to have now because all of my evacuees units are already here. Uh, okay, enculé. 
Uh, yeah, well, I guess that's life. So this event is discarded. For you to understand why I'm pissed off, what I'm trying to do is move those evacuee units um, into the staging area and then move them to England. Um, evacuee units or uh, military units who are in the uh, in a evacuee mode and they can be either one or two and so that's the two step. And each time they get to England, I get the amount of victory point for their value. So getting for free evacuee units is actually pretty awesome. Uh, this would have meant a very high probability of having two additional victory points without having to spend player actions. Uh, but that's, yeah, that just came in too early. That's just life. So that was the event. Second step, Luftwaffe attack. Here we are, Luftwaffe attack. And Luftwaffe attack is going to happen on track B. So track B is that line here. I have a few units along the way. And it means that we're going to have a Luftwaffe attack for each of those units. And we do it for each unit. So we roll two dice here. I'm going to put them here. Those dice are going to be here. And for each unit we're going to roll, it's a day turn. So I'm going to see what's happening on the Luftwaffe attack. So on the combat unit, uh, two or seven, it's a miss. Eight or nine, it's going to be suppressed. 10 of 12, it's going to be suppressed and get a hit. Let's start with this unit here. And it's an eight. Cool. <laughs> So that doesn't start very well. So this one becomes suppressed, and it, which means that its combat factor is going to be reduced by one. So it was a three, it's going to become a two. I hope that we're going to get attacked on that front. And now the second unit here, and it's a five, and that's pretty cool, which means that nothing happens. This is here, so we'll still have a combat unit of a factor three here if we have to fight, which is, which is a good thing. Uh, then we've got the first Lancashire here, just behind. And that's a 7, and 7 is good. Then we've got Les Wav. Good unit. Occupying a defensive position. 8, and 8 is suppressed. Then we've got Surrey. That's a seven, so Surrey is fine. And then we've got the one evacuee units. So one evacuee unit, it's an evacuee unit that is not on the channel route. So two, six is fine. Seven, eight is suppressed. Nine, 10, it takes a hit, but it's only a one that would destroy it. Fingers crossed. And oh my God, fingers crossed is not a good idea. I took an 11, so this unit is eliminated. And now this last evacuee unit, it's on the beach. If it could stay that way, that would be really awesome. And that's a 10, so that's not awesome. It takes one hit, it's only one value, so it means that I get two evacuee units being killed straight. But that was a, a tough battle, so I guess it's uh, thematic, even if it's a bit painful, I must admit. So that's it for the Luftwaffe uh, sequence. Uh, now we do the escape moves and uh, VP scoring. Here, I have no units here. So I don't have escape moves only if I have units placed on the last tracks of escaping routes, which is not the case now. So this one is skipped. And then we've got German moves and attacks. Not awesome. Let's just pray for the Panzer not to attack. That would be great. And we're lucky. Uh, so it's good. Oh no, we're not lucky. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so we've got the Panzers attacking. So that's exactly what I didn't want. People who are used to play with me will know that I'm quite unlucky, uh, usually with dice rolls, but also apparently with card draws. Perfect combo. That's gonna be a painful May 27th. What does happen here? So we've got uh, the 14th units here. Those are the motorized one, and they are gonna move one step each. And they are gonna go in contact with their units. So this one is gonna be left on the side. And I'm gonna take this maybe to show you a bit more what's happening here. That's the most powerful unit. They have six, six, six. And the defending units that I have in front of them are French units. Um, they are okay-ish. Uh, they are not as good as some of the of the British units that you see here with a four. That would have been pretty useful. But I guess that's fine for now. Uh, what I'm worried about is that one of them is suppressed. So we'll probably have to withdraw one step back. The good thing is that there are Marsh here. Marsh actually uh, blocks the moves. Once the, the Panzer moves here, he has to stop. So he cannot break through, which is going to be... A good thing because we're probably gonna get pushed. 
this is where we are right now and let's roll for the fights day turn uh, so day turn means that um, germans attack full force we have a panzer with a value a combat value of six which means that it's gonna roll six dice and he's gonna succeed uh, for everything that exceeds three uh, so four five six so one out of two and for every double three we also have an additional win that's how they call it so it's not hits it's wins and then we've got our combat result tables here and depending on the number of wins we're gonna have specific effects let's hope it's not gonna get too 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 painful oof that doesn't look good at all uh so this is a hit this is a hit this is a hit and this is a hit so that's four hits that's probably the the worst scenario that we could get that's the top of the result table then we've got one three but it's only one so it's not uh, counted for and we have a two that is below so those two are discarded and we have to manage four hits if we have four wins um no effect for the german obviously um they will attack again if allied units will be in that space there won't be any allied units after the, those four hits that i can tell you and they can do a breakthrough. Even if it was infantry, they could do a breakthrough, but here it's Panzer, so they definitely do the breakthrough. So I have to take four hits. So I think the best solution for me to take the four hits is gonna flip those two units. So that's gonna be two hits, one for each. And then we're gonna retreat to the previous space. So in A2 and um, join the, the Zouave and be here. That's uh, two hits for the flip and two hits for the retreat, four hits, so we're good. Good thing that there is the march. If there is the march here, uh, the movement is halted so they cannot break through and maybe in our uh, player phase we can maybe prepare a defense here because those Panzers are gonna be a problem and I really don't want them to, to come into Dunkirk that soon. We've got the second fight here where we already have a suppressed unit so with one less combat factor but that's fine. I'm gonna have this one heading up the defense so that's still a defense of three. Six dice, let's hope it's a bit better. And oh my God, that doesn't look better at all. Yes, that's that's actually pretty, that's pretty bad. Okay, uh, so that's four hits again. Uh, one that is discarded because it's only one through, no casualties here. So, oh my God, okay. <clears throat> We're gonna do the same. This guy is gonna get flipped. This guy is flipped and suppressed, so he's basically useless now. And he's gonna retreat behind the Lancashire here, so that's not awesome. I'm considering using the the Dunkirk spirit, uh, the Dunkirk spirit counter, that would actually make me reroll everything. <clears throat> but I think that as long as we're in the march, it could have been worse. So I think I'm gonna keep this for for a later moment. So it's actually something that I, that I can spend to reroll the attack dices. And as it cannot get worse, it would have made sense, but I think that I'm gonna still keep the benefit from the march and don't, yeah, and keep it for, for a worse time. And then we've got one final attack here. Uh, this one is not attacking into a march, look like, so for example, if this one was as successful as the one we just had, maybe I would use the Dunkirk Spirit counter because here they could break through and that could be a bit of a problem. We've got those motorized uh, attacking the 341 infantry, French infantry. This one only five dices. Only, yeah. Still defend on a three. Enculé. Okay, so that's really bad. Uh, so that's four hits, which means that we'll have to retreat and then we'll have a breakthrough attacking units that are defending on a one. So I will spend this counter, I will flip it, and we're gonna re-roll the attack dices. Let's hope that it was worth it. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, no, no. So that's, that's me guys, that's my life as a war gamer. Uh, I'm known for shitty dice rolls. Uh, and I guess that's a, that's a very good example of why I struggle that much. So that's still four hits. Two units flip, they retreat. So that's my four hits. And it means that this guy is actually gonna move here and he's gonna defend, he's gonna attack against ones. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. So here goes the breakthrough. And the breakthrough is a bloodbath, obviously. 
that steal four hits. So those units are completely obliterated. Those were good guys, good guys. So I'm sorry that on the first day they're already dead. They will be remembered, but my God. And that was it for the Wehrmacht attack phase. That, oof, that hurts quite a bit. Yeah, okay, that's a, yeah. So now you see how tough this game can be. A uh, few bad events, um, some good cards for the Germans and some really good dice rolls and you can be in a really, uh, in a bit of a pickle, as I like to say. Now we flip uh, and I have four player actions. So that's pretty good. Four player actions is not completely awesome, but pretty good. Uh, on average, uh, the player actions uh, turn around three. So four is, uh, four is a, a bit above average, so that's nice. What are the player actions that I can take? Um, I can move uh, units uh, from one spot. For one PA if they move by foot, or two PA if they move by truck. I can create evacuee units, which now I can because I've uh, lost a few of them, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> and then I can do the intelligence report, um, which I find not super useful, to be honest. Uh, then I can raise the Dunkirk Spirit for one. I can conduct one evacuation move for one, uh, and I can flood. So flooding is actually making those lowlands uh, spots here into March, which could be useful, but I'm not there yet, so I'm good. I can still have some defending posi uh, defensive position here, so it's, it would be a bit early for that. Then I can build the beach jetty marker, so here. If I build this, means that here I could have I could benefit from the the same uh, the same benefits from the East Jetty, so I could move two evacuee units at once. That would be actually pretty good. The problem is that I don't have that much units yet, so it's not really worth it. But it's definitely something that I want to look into for the future. And then I can uh, repair the mold here that is now operational, so I'm good. So, hmm. <laughs> what shall I do? I have a bit of a problem here. The evacuee units are for free until June. So what happens after June is that to create evacuee units, you have to uh, transform one of your fighting units into an evacuee unit, which means that you have to, there is a trade-off between creating evacuee and being able to, to push off the Germans. So what I think I'm gonna do is that for those first uh, four days, creating evacuee units has a lot of value. So I'm gonna create those. Uh, so I'm going to spend one PA to create one evacuee unit in this empty beach now, then one PA to flip it to two. Now that I've done this, I still have two. I think I'm going to raise the Dunkirk Spirit back. I actually already flipped it back, so here it is, so that's three. And then I'm going to move, conduct one evacuation move. I can move those two here. And I will move here in the staging area. I cannot move in X because until turn five they are they are locked. Uh, Z is a bit risky. And as long as I control Newport, which is going to be the case for a while, it's going to be a good move. So I'm going to put them in Y. So that's the move that I'm going to do. So that's creating an evacuee, making up to two, having the the Dunkirk spirit back, and doing an evacuee move. I didn't move any units. I think that for now we're good. I'm waiting to see what's gonna happen with the Belgians here. If they surrender, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time actually moving people back on the on the on my left flank. But for now I'm good. Uh, so I did my player actions. Now I flip another card to see the evacuation moves, and I have two. Uh, the average is three, so that's not great, but it's not that bad. Two evacuation moves. I have two units here. Uh, so I could either move this one up to here or move the two of them up to here. And I think that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two of them and place them here. So that's my two daily moves. Now we're going to pray for them not to be attacked by the Luftwaffe on the next turn, but uh, that's what we're going for. I also I really want to drive them to here, to England, and have the victory points start uh, picking up which means that now I can create some evacuee units here and I would be able, able to move two by two for each uh, evacuee move in the future. So that's gonna be my, probably my, for my future player action moves, it's gonna be creating evacuees here. And now we're gonna check for the Belgian surrender withdrawal. We roll one die for those guys. 
So there are some dice roll modifiers. Uh, they didn't suffer any hits, uh, and we are not after turn two. If I don't roll a one, they are still here. Ah, oh, good, awesome. The Belgians stay in the game, so that's pretty awesome. And now we're gonna roll for the Panzers. So what's happening with the Panzers is that Hitler was very worried about pushing the Panzers into the marshes uh, next to Dunkirk. He didn't want them to be screwed. He thought that uh, England would never come back into the war anyway, so he didn't want to risk his Panzers. He really loved uh, those tanks. There is a risk that uh, at some point the Panzers are gonna be removed and you'll just have um, the, the Germans will just have regular motorized units going forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll for the Panzers. They have no penalties. And it's a six, that's that. So the Panzers are still in the game. And that's it for uh, May 27th, turn one. And now we're gonna have a night turn, uh, May 27th. Oh, the, during the night. So you have a minus two DRM for the Luftwaffe attack, which is a good thing for us because I roll shitty dices. And then uh, during the attacks, the combat factor of the German units is impacted by one. So this one would not roll six dice, but five. This one would not roll five, but four, etc., etc. We remove the suppressed counters. So I think I had one here and one here. So that's all good. And we are ready to go. What's the event? Do not draw for German units during the German move and attack phase. This turn, all German units that are engaged or have an allied unit adjacent to them on their track automatically move toward that phase. Oh my god, okay, so... Okay, that's a, that's a major offensive move, which means that all of their units are going to move in because all of them are adjacent to another unit uh, of mine and allied units, which means that those Belgians are going to get pounded really hard, which means that we are turn two, so we do have a high probability of the, the Belgians withdrawing at the end of this turn, so that's going to be pretty tough. Actually, I'm going to keep it in front of me to remember for the attack phase. So now well, let's draw for the Luftwaffe attack. And they attack track D. So that's gonna be quite a lot of units to attack. So we're gonna roll two dice. No, two dice doesn't make any sense. Two dice. Because dice is already pro -oral. First unit. So it's night time, minus two DRM. That's eight, minus two, everything is all good. Second unit. Three minus two, one, all good. Okay, fusilier. That's three minus two, we're good. 150 French infantry. Okay, 11 minus two, nine. And this one takes a hit and is suppressed. That could have been worse. Fifth, borderers, British unit. 3, minus 2, 1, we're all good. Now for the evacuee here. Oof, for fuck's sake. Okay, that's a 12. So if we have a 12 on the Luftwaffe attack, uh, the problem, it's it's not modified. Ah, okay, so it's actually a 10. We're good. If it was a 12, this would have been flipped and it would have been damaged and we wouldn't benefit from, from the mole. For now, we're all good. Uh, because it's 12 minus 2, so we're still at a 10, uh, but which still means that this unit is here, one hit and suppressed. And it's a one unit, so it's out of here. Not cool at all. And now we've got the unit on the beach. I would really like this one to stay. And that's a 3 minus 2, so uh, that's 4 minus 2, so that's 2, so it's all good. So that was the Luftwaffe attack. And now we've got uh, escape moves and VP scoring. Once again, I have no units on England box. I should definitely have put those guys here. That was maybe a bit dumb. I didn't want to risk the Luftwaffe attack and the German introduction. But maybe played it too safe. We'll see that at the end of the game. Now we have the moves, and the moves we know what's up. Uh, and this is going to be actually a pretty long round for attacks. And all those guys are going to move in. That's going to get super bloody. And those Belgians are going to get their ass kicked. So, no offense against the 
our fellow Belgians here. It's just that it's not me. It's the designer, I guess. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's just that the, those units are pretty weak, and it's true that historically they didn't hold that much, and it's gonna get bloody. Can I have a better defense than this? No, I cannot. So my best unit here is gonna be a three. Let's go for it. Oh no, not six dice, it's five dice. Good. So we have a slight benefit. It's night turn. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you know me now. Uh, so that's four hits. I could destroy this one for one. Oh, that's not worth it. That's definitely not worth it. Because destroying and retreating would be the same. Uh, so I'm gonna retreat those two. So that would be two. That's gonna be a three and that's gonna be a four. Okay, so the Zouave are like really, really broken down. And now we're gonna be able to have here. Oh, wait a minute. There's something that I didn't check. Was if the Panzer can actually move. And he can, so we're all good. On a five, on a six, where he couldn't have moved. Okay, so he actually did this, uh, and he does a breakthrough, so it means that he's gonna move on and continue his attack. So that's a breakthrough, he's gonna roll five dice. This one is defending against a four. So let's just hope it's gonna help us a bit. One win, two wins, and those count as one, so that's the three wins. That's gonna be pretty easy to do. And those three wins are gonna be those three guys moving to Dunkirk. And now this guy is still here with this guy. Good defending unit. Pretty proud of this one. But with three wins, the German will attack again if any units are still in that space. So I'm gonna try to hold this one. So it's the final attack. If I can stand here, we'll have we'll be engaged here. We can hold. And that's, oh, sorry, that was a six. Where is it? So that's two hits. Those two are gone. We're gonna have one hit, two hits, and the Panzer is here. So that's it for this attack. Now we have this Panzer. We've got to roll to see if this Panzer is going out. Five, he doesn't, so that's pretty cool. And this guy definitely moves in. Then minus one attack dice because he's attacking Berg. Berg is a defensive position, so that's three. Um, and my combat force is augmented by one, so he attacks on a five. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty favorable income outcome. It's supposed to be, at least. He has one hit and one casualty. Uh, so retreat if uh, uh, any allied unit remains in this space and he will check for casualty rolls. And I have to apply, so this one will go back. A one casualty is not enough, it should have been two. He won't take a hit and this one will flip, but he will hold Berg. So it's a pretty good defensive position. So we're still good. Now we have the 24s here. They are at five. Oops. No specific defensive positions. Four dices, they defend on a three or less. Three wits hits and one casualty. Three hits, so that's gonna be one, two, and three. So we're gonna retreat. And he cannot break through because he's not motorized. So that's okay-ish, I guess. I'm gonna have the weak unit on the back. Then this guy here attacks, no defensive position here, and we're gonna defend with a four here. It's gonna be a bit more efficient, so he rolls on a four dice. Okay, so that's two hits, and with the two hits, I'm gonna retreat the two guys here. There is no stacking limit, so I'm just gonna, gonna go there, and with the two wins, he's actually not doing a breakthrough, so I don't really care. So I'm just preparing a big stack here on this canal that he's gonna have a hard time actually going through. Then another attack here on the track F. So do I have better units to be the front line? No, I don't. And nothing is defensive here. So let's go for it. And that's two hits. 
Once again, I'm not going to take any hits. I'm going to retreat. And this one is going to move in here. So I'm actually building strong defensive positions all along the canal. This area, to be honest, I'm not very worried. I'm mostly worried about this. The fact that they were so close to Dunkirk is really, really shitty. Then we've got the 216th. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, that's three hits. So I'm gonna have one here flip and we're gonna remove the two. So that's gonna take in the three hits. And with three wins, do we have a breakthrough? No, we don't. So this guy stays here. Actually, it could have been a good thing to have a breakthrough because if he attacked uh, on a night time, a defensive position, oh no, that's not a defensive position. So that's a good thing. But the breakthrough here or here would have been interesting because he would have moved in, have a, a during night time attacking a defensive position, we would have a high probability of maybe flipping him. So that would have been interesting, but that's that, that doesn't happen. And now the Germans attacking the Belgians. Oh. Brave little Belgians, if you could hold, that would be awesome. And, and, and nope. That's gonna be two hits, one flip, one retreat, which means that we're gonna have a deep, like um, a negative modifier for the Belgian retreat. The third Belgian infantry. Oof, oh my god, that's, oh, that's bad. This guy is vaporized. So, this one is off, so we definitely have to defend those things. Uh, thank God he cannot do breakthrough, but here, like, if he's he's gonna just move in all alone if he's not blocked here, and we have to hold this. So that's something that we're gonna have to change during our player action moves. And now second Belgian. Oh my God! Okay, so this guy is vaporized too. That was pretty bad, but that was four. Four wins means that, oh my god, that's really bad. Can actually move to Newport uh, with a breakthrough. That's a catastrophic move that just happened here. So he destroyed that Belgian unit. Uh, he could actually move to Newport. And Newport is a city that we need to keep uh, because it prevents us to have a German interdiction uh, when we have we, the evacuees going to England. So that's the so that's the main problem that we have here. That was this. It's the longer but the safest route, uh, but it's safe as long as we have Newport, and we don't have Newport anymore. Because of this, I'm not gonna have vapor. My Belgians vaporized, and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna flip the Dunkirk Spirit track, and we're gonna go back and cancel those results and see if we can get something better because we need to hold Newport. And that's a tiny bit better. So we have two, which means that we're going to have one flip and one retreat. So that's going to be our two hits. But with only two wins, no, oh, with two wins, we don't apply the casualty rules, unfortunately. That's not great, but it's way better than what we have. So they move in here. They don't have uh, a breakthrough here, which means that we're all good. Now we flip and we see how many player actions we have. So with those player actions, we know that we're gonna reinforce the Belgian front that is completely crumbling, and we're pretty sure that those guys are gonna are gonna break. And we flip and we have three player actions, which is a good thing. Uh, three is on the average, but if we had a one, that would have been like a really really bad situation. So what are we gonna do with those three player actions? So I have a thing here. I could have a free move for two units because I have my HQ here. And I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move those two units for free. So that's another player action that is spent. I'm gonna move those two here. Then we've got few on here. That might be a bit of a problem because those Belgians are probably gonna disappear. They are not in a defensive position. So I have three player actions. I'm gonna do one player action here, one player action to move this here. So that's one, two moves. So we're all good. So we're actually creating a bit of depth for the attack here. And then I have a third player action. And I think for the third player action, I'm gonna, this saved me quite a bit just there. And I think it would be useful to actually flip it. So I'm gonna have the Dunkirk Spirit flip back to its uh, to its position. 
Un I'm unfortunately not doing much for the evacuees, but uh, we don't really have a choice. So now we do the evacuation moves. So how many of those do we have? And I have, it's night, we have six, so that's pretty good. That would be four, five, six. Now I really wanna use the Y as much as I can, uh, as long as I hold this. When I won't, I will start using the, the Z route, which is gonna be safest. And on turn five, the X one is gonna be more, more interesting too. Let's check now if the Belgian are surrendering. And that's, I would expect them to surrender. They have minus one for each hit they suffered. So they actually suffered one, two, three, four. So I have a minus four. And minus one for turn two. Oh yeah, that does. useless to roll. I have minus five, so they definitely surrender. So the Belgians are out. They're surrendering. So we have no more Belgian units actually holding my left flank. Thank God I used those moves to actually do something. So I have a line of units here. And now we're gonna check if the Germans are still have their Panzers in the game. And on a six, nothing happens, definitely not. So Panzers are still here, Belgians are out. That's it, we played a couple of turns. We're gonna go to May 28th daytime, but I think you get a, the gist of the game. Uh, I will show you how the game ends a little bit later, but I'm gonna show you what's the situation now. So the situation now is this. We're gonna have a major offensive on Dunkirk here. Uh, it's gonna be a big problem that we're gonna have, so we might have to move some of those units over there to actually reinforce Dunkirk. I'm not very confident in the fact that we can really counterattack. Those are the heaviest units here, so that's gonna be really tough. Uh, this is going okay-ish. Thank God the, the marsh actually worked here. It would have been good if it did also here. This should be okay. Uh, we have a really good defensive position here and here we have uh, actually a very, very good defensive line. So we're gonna actually uh, maybe use some of those to go there and maybe soon use some of those to go and reinforce here because here we have a defensive line that is okay-ish, but we're not there yet. And we've got some evacuees on their way to go. Next turn we should have, if everything goes well, everything should go well because we'll still have Newport. We'll have four victory points, which is not much, but still. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So I will come back for the end of the game. Just have in mind that if I have less than 25 victory points at the end of the game, it's a disaster. Uh, if it's uh, less than 31, we're still in a loss. Uh, between 32 and 43, we are in, a, in an okay victory, uh, pretty average. And then if we have more than 44, it becomes outstanding. And as you can see now, we're really far away from this. <laughs> était dans la finance le commandant était dans l'industrie hey we're back and so i did play a few turns in the meantime so we are now at turn 10. Uh, turn 10 is the night of the may 31st which means that it's the last turn where i can actually create evacuee units without uh, spending my defending units it's probably will be my last turn. I'm actually in a really bad position. Uh, I've earned 13 VPs. Uh, we are halfway through a bit further than halfway through the game. Uh, and it feels like I don't I don't think I'm gonna have more than 31 victory points, which would mean a, a win. So I'm pretty much aiming toward a, a pretty bad loss. Uh, probably around awful if everything goes well, which is not a good not a good uh, not a good position to be in uh, what you can see is that the front is pretty broken i lost newport really soon in the game uh, and i'm going to show you more in detail what's going to happen what's happening right now so i haven't flooded yet the lowlands uh, i'm about to do this in my next round even if it's a bit of a desperate move because as you can see most of the the germans are already occupying those spaces i'm engaged here uh, and uh, two of their infantry units are, are here. I did do a good job on the Panzers here, and I'm gonna show you with the, the video more closer here, so with the camera. So as you can see, this one, this one uh, were actually reduced, uh, which, is a, which is a good thing, but clearly not enough. The problem is that my 
my left flank completely collapsed. Uh, so I lost the new port bonus, which means that for the units in Y, now I have to do the, uh, the German interdiction attack. I did manage to have a lot of units going through this new road, uh, so the X one that doesn't have the German interdiction attack, which is a good thing, but clearly not enough. Spent most of my action points trying to consolidate the front, which didn't come with a lot of success and had a few uh, bad, bad, bad events uh, that didn't help. One of them was uh, the storm in the channel that actually removed some of my units or suppressed them. So it was it was a pretty bad move. So we're trying to maintain what can be maintained, but uh, on the evacuation part, we're not really not doing good. So I think it will be my last turn uh, and let's see how it plays out. Uh, unless I'm super lucky, I don't think it's gonna be a good thing. When you look on the card side, so those are the events that we played. So that's nine events for now. We're going to have a tenth one. So those cards are out of the game and had to reshuffle the deck. Uh, so we are in the, in the second, uh, in the second shuffle. Uh, I would say that you usually have around three, yeah, three shuffle if you go uh, until the end of the, until the end of the deck. So we're going to go through it and see what happens. So you have a bit of an idea and you'll also see some of the evacuation steps that you might have not seen in the first two, uh, in the first two rounds. Let's look at what we can do here. Let's turn the event. Blitzkrieg. That doesn't sound good. Uh, all German attackers this turn will automatically receive one extra attack die. This is not a good thing. So it means that the knight bonus that we have is actually being overridden by this one. Uh, in addition, all types of German units may break through uh, if a breakthrough is allowed. So even on the on the low successes for this one, for the infantry one, we might have a breakthrough, which is which is not good. So I'm gonna keep it here uh, because that's gonna be important in the in the attack step. We're gonna go with the Luftwaffe attack, and Luftwaffe attack is gonna be close support in track uh, A and J. So close support is on those tracks. We're gonna attack uh, when there is a direct contact with units. Luckily enough, A and J are already collapsed, so we don't have any units on that track anymore. So this is this is done. It's not in, in my uh, in my despair. There are some good things that are actually happening, uh, and now we're gonna play the uh, escape moves and victory points. So escape moves. I have uh, two evacuee units here that are uh, to England, so it means that I'm gonna get three victory points here. Uh, because I don't have uh, an interdiction attack for this track, which is a good thing. So that's three victory points, which put me at 16, which is a good thing. And then I have the Y one. Uh, and the Y, now that Newport is not occupied by the Allied anymore, I do have to do the interdiction attack. I'm going to take two dice and see and just for you to know so it's a night phase so it's good for us uh, on the two or seven i have the two victory points on eight or nine i get suppressed 10 or 11 i get hit and suppressed and on 12 it's eliminated so let's hope for not a 12 and it's a seven and seven is just exactly what we needed so this unit is victory i get two victory points and i get an 18 which is far from what I have expected to do up until turn 10. So it's not great, but not that bad. This was the escape moves and VP scoring. And now we have the German moves and attack. We're going to see who attacks with the additional die roll. I hope it's not the motorized units. And it's all the 14th and the 14th are all the motorized. So exactly what I didn't want. So that's really, really awesome. This guy moves in here, this guy moves in here, and this guy will fight the already engaged French unit here in the lowlands, which is not great. Four dice for this one, minus one because it's night, plus one because he has the bonus Blitzkrieg. So that's this. And then I have the one minus one dice because of the position. So the East Jetty, so they roll at three and my defense factor is plus one. So I'm at five. So I actually have a good chance of holding the position. And that's really good. No hits here. They don't move more forward into Dunkirk, Dunkirk, which is really good. Uh, then we have here. So attack at four, minus one for the Knight, plus one for the Blitzkrieg. So that's it. And I defend with this uh, Lancashire unit that's at three plus one because he's on the canal. So its defense factor is four. And I have one hit and one casualty. One hit, one casualty. One casualty won't be enough. Uh, and the one hit is 
still a success, so we'll retreat that already reduced infantry unit, and this will stop, and the German unit will have to retreat. And then we have this last one that is uh, already engaged with this guy. So that's five uh, minus one plus one. So that's pretty much it. No defensive bonus for that unit. So we have a high probability of seeing this unit being destroyed. And that's, yes, that is it. Three hits, this unit is destroyed. That's not really good. So one additional French infantry unit being crushed. And with three hits, we have the um, we have the the breakthrough and breakthrough unfortunately lowlands are still not flooded which was a mistake i should have done it in the previous turn i invested more into the to the evacuees and i think that was a mistake and now we have a breakthrough here so i'm gonna defend uh, with this three units once again an attack at five uh, i have a defensive bonus of plus one so i defend at Defense factor of four. And I really, we are gonna hold the beach, but that's not gonna last for long. And that is two hits. And with those two hits, you know what? I'm gonna retreat those two guys. And 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 keep that guy here. Uh, two wins. Uh, that's it for this attack. Uh, he doesn't retreat, so he stays engaged here. So that's pretty much it for this attack, but that's already pretty good. So the Blitzkrieg goes here, German move is here, and I have I have a player action. Uh, I have three player actions, three player actions. What shall I do? What shall I do? That's a very good question. I feel like I can't do much more on, on the front, on optimizing the front. Um, I don't have that many four units left. Uh, I have one in Lapan, but I have to hold Lapan because if I don't hold Lapan, all my future evacuation moves are going to be halved, and this is something that I cannot uh, that I cannot do. That would be the end of the turn and let's do a small evaluation here so i'm at 16 18 victory points uh i have one two three four five six seven eight turn to go eight turn to go i'm at 18 uh and i'm gonna get four points so i will be at 22 the next round uh which means that i will have nine points to create those will take me at least one round to go. 22, 25. This one is going to be tricky. So I have 25 for sure. The problem is that I'm going to start losing some beach heads over here. And which means I have to do six more in those eight turns. Uh, I think it's doable, but I don't think that at this stage of the game I can do more. Uh, probably more than a poor result, so between 32 and 35 VPs. I'm in maybe less of a bad position than I expected, but just to show you how this game is tough, I think I will finish in a in a draw around around poor. Uh, best case scenario, if I'm lucky, I would go on average, but I think that's pretty much it. I cannot do much more than this. Uh, had a catastrophic beginning of the game. Uh, I waited too much to flood the lowlands, which would have helped in this situation. Have some pretty bad events. Most of the events are bad, uh, we're not gonna lie, but uh, I had really a really bad combination of them. I think that would be it for now, because starting 1st of June, I'm gonna have to transfer units to become evacuee units. All those French guys are not gonna be able to be transferred into evacuees before, um, before June 2nd. So it means that I'm gonna have to replace British units. The problem is that British units are still the one that I use the most uh, to defend because the French one took all the hits at the beginning, so it's my la last line of defense are British uh, British soldiers, and I don't think I can uh, I can spend them that much. Having more than six on top of already what I have is going to be very tricky to get, so I think it's going to be a draw, probably in a poor situation, 32-35.
So that was it. Uh, you've seen a partial playthrough of a sport victory, Dunkerque 1940. Pretty awesome game. Uh, I like it quite a bit. I'm not a huge fan of solo games, but this one is, is quite interesting. Uh, and I'm thinking about making a review for this one. So if you like the playthrough and would like me to uh, do a review, please uh, consider uh, letting me know in the comments. And if you like the playthrough just as is, like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. That was Homo Ludens. See you next time. <laughs> Qui marche au pas, il n'en avait plus l'habitude. Mais c'est comme la bicyclette, ça s'oublie pas.